Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm doing your bonus love read. This reading is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So yeah, what we're going to do in this reading is, we're going to tap into the current energies of your person. Um, when I say current energies, I mean their current energies, as in what is the most two, uh, you know, the, the most dominant two thoughts that they have on their mind. It can be about you, it can be something else that is going on in their life, which they are too focused on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tap into their energies towards you, towards the connection that they have with you. And then we will take what, you know, cards about what do they want to tell to you? What are their messages uh, for you as well? And at last, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Oracle message as well. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. And uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal needs, you can always reach out to me on the email ID. In the description box, you can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So yeah, let's see. What are the current energies of the person? Let's see, what are the two most dominant thoughts they have on their mind? Wow. They want all, they want everything. Whatever it is that your person Whoever it is that you're dealing with, this person is somebody who's very intuitive, somebody who's very much aligned with their higher self. They know what to do, they know what to, uh, how to go about things. Because this person is somebody who's a manifester. This person is somebody who's very much uh, in, um, in, in connection with the, with the spirits, uh, with, the, with the God, with the nature, with the divine. This person is somebody who's very much into meditations and stuff like that. They might be using law of attraction techniques as well. They might be somebody who's, uh, who believes in all of that as well. So this, this person is manifesting their life for sure in each and every area. Like, you know, it's not just love life. It's not just career. It's like everything that they want, they know how to make it happen. So they are pretty much like, you know, um, maybe they are scripting, maybe they are planning, maybe they are, you know, just, just doing their thing to bring forward the kind of life that they desire using visualizations and everything. Uh, maybe um, they are kind of, you know, in, in their mind, they are writing a story uh, about how they want to go about their life with you. So yeah, let's see more cards. Seven of Wands, they're preparing themselves for all that they need to do to have what they want. So be that about you, be that about other areas of their life, but this person is definitely much uh, more in control of their life right now than they might have ever been in their life. So it seems like you know, this person is somebody who's uh, very balanced and uh, somebody who knows what to do to have the magic happen in their life. So let's see how do they see you or the connection that they have with you. What is it that they feel for you? What is it that they have for you? King of Cups, Nine of Wands. They really love you a lot, but they feel like uh, you uh, you have your gods up. Um, you hold your emotions back and they know that you have love for them. Uh, but then you... Um, since you don't open up, they feel the need to go away from you. They feel to feel to kind of, you know, walk away from you. This is not something that they desire. It's more like, you know, something that hurts them. It's something that they don't want, but then they don't see things moving forward. So they hold themselves back. Like, you know, I feel like you know, this person is um, either going to walk away from you or they have already walked away from you. And maybe now they're using these tools and techniques to make it happen, whatever it is that they, des they desire with you. So it seems like, you know, this person is waiting for you to open up your heart to them. And until unless you do that, this person is going to hold themselves back. Let's see, what do they want you to know? What is it that they want you to know? This person is definitely silently manifesting you. Let's see. It's not just you, but whatever they desire. King of Swords, the Devil, the Death, the Moon, Henri Derek, Ace of Swords. They really want you to know that they are trying to... Uh, send you clarity, send you healing uh, through their meditations, through their, you know, connection with the divine. They, they want you to understand this connection. You, you might take this connection that they have with you as something which is very sexual, very passionate, but then there is a deeper meaning to this connection and they really want you to know that you will soon understand it. 
they they know that they can instill that belief in you around this connection as well so i feel like you know this person is really wanting and wishing and hoping that you soon get prepared to understand the connection and what what this connection means actually you you know they see you as somebody who is uh, holding your guards up for them um and they really want you to put them down because uh, they feel that you need the clarity around this connection and you need to know that this is not a random connection that you are having with this person this is something spiritual this is something beautiful ace of souls and only that we do have ace of cups this person really wants you to know that you know once you have the clarity this is what we're going to have so yeah let's see what else do they want you to know what are their messages for you okay so these two cards let's see i could not face you for what i did so i ghosted you i feel like you know this person feels like um they cannot face uh they cannot face maybe what you did to them because i feel like you know, it's more of that energy like you know maybe they might have said bad things to you as well out of their aggression they might have said you know they might have used a language that you are not happy with but they are like you know choosing to walk away from you or they did that in the past because they felt like you know uh they they felt bad for saying the words that that said and uh, they kind of you know pulled away from you um i choose to walk away or stay silent but i'm badly affected they might be like you know in no communication with you right now but at the same time this is something not which which kind of you know fulfills your person so it's something that they are disturbed about for sure let's take one more card from this deck it's easier to just stay away right now so this person really believes that you know staying with you and seeing you or having your guards up is something that they cannot deal with so it's better if they walk away from you because that's going to be still easier for them to deal with let's see more messages what else do they want you to know i'm focused on other things give me uh i'm focused on other things give me time now this person really is focused on manifesting their life exactly the way they want not just about you but it's more like you know they might be trying to give their time to themselves to heal themselves to be a better version of themselves once they have done that they are going to be more confident to manifest the life that they desire with you so i feel like you know they are focused on other things as well so they need their time now you know even if you are going to reach out to this person maybe this person is going to take their time uh until then is they are ready and prepared they are not going to give into the connection i love you to the moon and back a million times this person really does love you a lot i love you more than i love anyone so this person has a strong love for you they love you more than they ever loved anyone so let's see what else do they want you to know let's take uh, one card from this deck i regret lying to you they might have lied to you okay fine i'm moving on they might have said that to you again this could be something that hurt that might have hurt you but again this person felt that this was the right thing to say and to do and uh, to walk away from you is the only thing that they could find themselves doing the right uh you know they, they, that was the only thing that they found um you know right doing so why because they they don't think that you know staying with you is easier for them especially when you have your guards up if and only if you put your guards down they will be happy to be with you all the time so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for uh this reading if the reading resonated or if it helped you in one way or the other do like share and subscribe and if you're willing to get a personal read or any of the services that i offer including scripting affirmations meditations you can check the description box for further details on that you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box so yeah till later thanks for being here guys take care and bye bye